Hello and welcome to No Man's Sky, everybody. Elon Paul here. We're going to be doing the anomaly mission for the weekend of, looks like, June 14th, 2024. And we're going to be doing it from this save that I currently have here. This is my tertiary save. So we're going to go ahead and get this going with this extreme close-up, of course. <laughs> I hope you all are having a wonderful weekend. I know this uh, mission is coming out a little late today, but I had some speed run um, <clears throat> testing to do. I just got to get out far enough that I can get the anomaly to pull in. Oh, I see what happened. Yeah, got some ships that showed up right there. All right, so off to the anomaly we go. As you can see, I haven't on this save done the expedition yet, so I do not have an iron vulture yet on this save. I plan on doing that later for this one. I have it on my secondary or my main save. I don't have it on the first one yet, but I'll just kind of claim it on the first one. All right, here we go. So, as you can see, we've got a little blue floating orb over the nexus over here, indicating we have an anomaly mission ready. I saw it during my expedition, and I'm like, oops, I forgot to record that. Well, here we are. Looks like we're going to be killing some flora again today. 1,800 quicksilver and 11 life support gels are our reward. Initializing the mission. Start said mission. Off we go. And we'll be checking out the Quicksilver vendor when we're done. So currently the official record on the speedruns, for anybody who cares, is 1 hour and 36 minutes in game time. Um, Jason pulled a 147 today. I don't know what Delta pulled this evening. I have yet to check his video out. I was busy doing my own tests before I had a chance to check. So for all I know, he's he's gotten a better run than 136. That's what I'm expecting to have happened. And in my tests, I'm kind of pulling around the same amount of time. So I've got to look for ways to speed things up. All right, so we're in our system, the Ihoto system, it looks like. Um, it should tell us where to go here in just a moment. That way, good deal. Excellent. All right. This planet right here. Looks like we get a deathly green anomaly, ancient bones, emeralds, so we're in a green star. Excellent. Let's get moving. I have emerald. Is that something I have in my inventory? I do not. Ammonia. I do not have emerald. So maybe that's something I will claim while I'm here. Now, we do have to head straight for this, but we're looking for a grave first. We don't have to be in that view. Just look at your radar at the top. You're looking for a grave marker. It says to look. Eh, we'll look with the ship. It's a little bit easier. Let's go back the other way. Looking for a grave marker to appear on our scope. Self-adjusted to get over that. That was funny. I'm feeling he's over here. Let me check. Gotta find the grave, though. Is it over here? No. Very interesting. I'm not finding it anywhere. little brush so I guess we are gonna have to get out and take a look around because I could have swore we'd be able to find it oh wait 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 it is right there okay excellent found it okay so we check out the grave and we get our story something the atmosphere here but this is by the strangling vines, very little ammunition. Psst. The fallen traveler's log seems to mention the floral infestation, but holds no further clues. I will need to scout to locate the hazardous flora. Let's leave. Excellent. Okay, so we're done. We just have to look for it. Now, the beauty of this is we can go all over the place on this planet here, and we can find some, like, right here. But we have a cave right near our location, so we're in great shape for that. So why don't we just ignore it and hit these little guys right here. One, 
Let's see if we got any others. There should be some more floating around in here. That doesn't look like one. thought this cave was deeper, but it doesn't look like it's a very special cave. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, Two, three, four. We just got four of them, and we need 13. So let's just keep looking around. There are some. Five and six. Excellent. Take a look, take a look. Just remember, don't get too close to them. Love looking for them in caves. We're doing that on our on our expedition as well, so that's a good place to get them. Uh, let me look at the other one. The other end. They like to hang around near the uh, surface where you come into contact with them a little bit closer. Oh, I think that's one right there. Yep, that was eight or seven. That was number seven. Okay, there are some eight. Oh, another one. Nine. Ten. 11, 12, and 13. And we'll take out the 14th and the 15th while we're at it. Maybe the 16th. <laughs> All right. So see how easy that was? And you can check out these nice butterflies if you want to get one as a pet. These are rideable creatures. Very nice looking. See? You can offer it food and turn it into a pet. But while we're here, wow, there's a lot of animals here. Good grief. Looks like they got beetles, too. Oh, that's something. So if you like the beetle-type animals, those are usually pretty fast uh, suckers. So, a lot of flying creatures here. Lots and lots of flying creatures here. This huge one right here. I wonder. Can we... I just got attacked by something. Yep, he flew away. Seems to be stirring a pot over there, I guess. What is this? What do you know? I'm going to go ahead and grab some emerald because I don't think I have any in my inventory for the save whatsoever. So we're going to go ahead and just grab some while we're here. If you guys don't mind spending just a little bit of time doing so. Just a couple hundred of it. About 250 is usually good to put in a cadmium or, pardon me, uh, indium drive. And you always want to keep a little extra just in case. Now, if you take emerald or cadmium or indium and you put them in a refiner that has two slots and you add chromatic metal to it, you can double the emerald or cadmium or indium. So, a little bit of a trick there for you guys that might need some in the future. How much do we have? 300. Go into the higher setting and we'll clear out the rest of this. We don't need it all in the small mode. And we'll just clear out the rest. That's something I usually do in any situation when I'm gathering resources like this. There we go. Looks like we cleaned out this deposit pretty good. All right. Let's head over to the ship, which went over here. There we go. And we're back to the anomaly. Here we go. And it just says to go to the Nexus. So that's all you have to do. This is a very simple, simple anomaly mission for anybody who wants to do it. And here we go. Now, if you want to return to the system that you came from to begin with, once you turn in your mission, simply exit the anomaly again. And it will hyperspace jump you back to your original system that you were at. All right, let's go get our reward. And then we're going to check out the Quicksilver vendor again. We want to see what is available, what has been opened. We'll go from there. All right, there we go. Complete the mission, and we have our 1800 Quicksilver, which I'm quickly uh, building up a good supply of at this point, so I'm kind of happy about that. All right, let's go over here. Can't get rid of that off my screen. That's okay. So exotic items, number one. Let's take a look. All right, so it looks like our three decals are available. I'm going to go ahead and get them. As well as all of our statues, and there's no new... No new things to get here. 
This will usually remain the same for the duration of an expedition. So this has been cleared out. It has all been accepted. And if you want to start an expedition from your save, simply come over to this terminal over here and you just have to enter the terminal and you can start, select equipment, and you can start your expedition from here. So try it out. It is a really cool expedition. I highly recommend it. And watch for the speed runs. I got one. I'll be usually doing a live stream on Wednesday evenings, Eastern time, somewhere after 6 p.m., so catch me then. Saturdays I am reserving. I used to do uh, uh, streams on Saturday evenings, but I've been reserving it more and more for uh, family time. So uh, we'll be doing some more stuff with family and maybe as school uh, kicks back into session, we'll go ahead and start doing stuff uh, on Saturday evenings again. So that is the end of our run. Now let me go ahead and just show you as you leave. See, I just saved my game by jumping in and out of my ship and it will automatically send you back to where you were. Now, I don't think I have... I might have a freighter with this particular save. I don't actually recall anymore. But I'm, I'm aiming for a Dreadnought. I'd like to get a Dreadnought freighter. And... There we go. Yep, we're out. Okay, and you're back to your original system. Let's see. No freighter owned. Yep. <laughs> All right. Well, why don't we just head to the space station? We'll call it. I uh, had gone to the space station or to the system because I was uh, busy doing some extra upgrades and stuff like that for my for my uh, save here for my person. See, it's even asked for survey devices. I got a whole bunch of upgrades. I'm really uh, moving this particular new save along. It will become the main save as time goes by. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching this weekend's Anomaly Mission with me, your host, Alon Paul. I want to thank you all for being here and take care, everybody. I hope you have a great weekend. We'll see you again real soon. Bye-bye now.